least Theresa May went. I mean, she had to go, didn't she? Towards the end, she had all the authority of the do not tumble dry label. <laughs> I mean, she always had the charm of a fucking war crime. <laughs> but towards the end, her body language had gone. I didn't realise it was possible to limp with both legs. <laughs> so now we've got Boris Johnson, an evolutionary dead end of the honey monster. <laughs> A bin bag of albino body parts. <laughs> A cross between the Incredible Hulk and a Haribo fried egg. <laughs> Is the fucking Prime Minister! The Prime Minister! It's not just that he's the worst person for the job, he might be the worst mammal. <laughs> and let's not forget how they create these people. They're created in the public school system, that's where they lose their empathy. They're forged in a crucible of hierarchical sodomy. That's why they don't get along. The last time the Cabinet saw eye to eye, it was over the back of a weeping first year. Incidentally, I'm not one of those people who thinks there's a paedophile ring at Westminster. I think it's probably more of a queue. <laughs> i tell you what gets me with Brexit, right? Is these, uh, I'm looking forward to it, actually. These free market Tories that have spent their whole career going, oh, let's let the market decide. The market will make that decision. Seeing what happens once the market is exposed to scarcity, once people can't get food anymore, once they can't get medicine. Oh, the market seems to have decided to drag me out of my front door, screaming. <laughs> oh, the market seems to be stringing me up from a lamppost by my ankles. <laughs> oh, the market seems to have decided to slash my throat open and give me a jolly old halal send-off. <laughs> So I don't believe in compassionate conservatism. I think compassionate conservatism generally extends to occasionally their MPs allow prostitutes to wear knee pads. Yeah. I know, piece of advice. And my advice is never trust the super rich. What's the first thing they do when they get rich? They buy a yacht. Ever been in a yacht? It's like being in a two-star hotel on fucking roller skates. <laughs> the only reason anyone would want to own a yacht is so that they can abduct children, <laughs> sail them into international waters, fuck them, and dispose of their bodies. <laughs> and that's what everyone who owns a yacht is doing, okay? <laughs> is doing. I don't care who it is, J.K. Rowling. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, for legal reasons, that J.K. Rowling is not fucking and killing children <laughs> in international waters. <laughs> to the best of my knowledge. <laughs> That's what's happening out there. Sea levels aren't rising. It's just the weight of dead, <laughs> fucked kids. <laughs> the sea isn't even salty. <laughs> Do you know there are now hotels for the super rich that are so exclusive that when you phone down and ask for an extra pillow, that's actually a code word. It's actually a code word for a prostitute. Imagine that, you phone down, you ask for an extra pillow, and a prostitute turns up. Now you have two prostitutes. <laughs> and only one pillow to smother them with. <laughs> <laughs>